Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Journey Tribe the gateway to my unforgettable adventures As the wheels of the train set in motion I set off from Edinburgh the Scottish capital to explore a gem located in the Scottish Highlands known as the Cairngorms National Park In my seat I found myself captivated by the passing landscape as I gazed outside my window I was greeted by a series of small mountains that stood tall and proud against the horizon. The vibrant green fields below seemed to stretch endlessly, while the sunlight delicately danced upon the surface of a flowing river. All of this painted a picture-perfect view, signaling the start of summer. Going right through the mountains and taking in the views, I arrived at my train destination. Nestled between these peaks is the vibrant Scottish town of Aviemore. From here, I hopped on the bus and started towards my base. I stayed in a hostel located in the Glenmore Range, which took 20 minutes by bus from Aviemore. Here, all the buses are run by stagecoach. and the timetable of the bus can be found on their website here we get the first peak of snow on the mountains however the temperature here was much warmer than expected around 5 degrees celsius more than edinburgh just before my stay arrived i came across loch morlich on my right Loch is the Gaelic word for lake and Gaelic is the native language of Scotland. The hostel was on a steep height but the location was perfect for views and assessing nearby spots. I couldn't resist the beauty I found myself in and left quickly for exploring the wilderness. To my surprise The lake I had seen was a walking distance from my location and the weather was perfect for enjoying its beach. As I made my way from one side of Loch Morlich to the other i followed a winding path through a beautiful forest known as the glenmore forest path Nestled amidst the towering mountains, this picturesque lake greeted me with its serene beauty. The shimmering waters reflected the surrounding landscape, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. For the rest of the evening, I sat down, enjoying the sunset, feeling the breeze, and letting the peaceful ambience wash over me. The next day I woke up early and left the hostel to explore another hidden gem. I followed the cemented path which led me to a forest adorned with beautiful scot pines. As I continued the trail became narrower and rougher to walk on. In this serene and quiet area it's hard to imagine that millions of years ago this very place was covered with glaciers. where creatures like the mighty mammoth once ruled throughout the walk these blue signboards were present to give information about the area as i ventured further i entered a narrow u-shaped valley known as rivon pass with each step 
the anticipation inside me grew for the destination that awaited me after walking for a total of 30 minutes i finally caught sight of my destination the green lochan lochan is a gaelic term used for a small lake typically found in the scottish highlands as i approached its name truly reflected its essence the water glistened with a captivating shade of green reflecting the lush surroundings the speck clouds gently drifted above adding a touch of ethereal beauty to the scene in that moment i used my magical spell to summon the clouds and to my surprise they obliged after this spectacle show i decided to move forward and explore the rest of the lake I found myself immersed so much in the in its beauty that I lost the track of time. With a heavy heart, I said goodbye to this place and moved back to my hostel. And by this time, people have risen up and started with their morning activity. After returning from the Lokan, I enjoyed a hearty breakfast and made my way to the bus stop right outside my hostel. My next destination was Nithi Bridge, also known as the Forest Village. I hopped on the bus headed towards Grenton upon Spey which would conveniently take me there. It's worth noting that the bus services operate on a limited availability especially on Saturdays and Sundays. On Sundays the bus the buses don't run at all and on Saturdays there are only two morning buses. So if you are planning to explore the park using public transport it's advisable to do so on weekdays for a smoother journey. As the bus carried me along, I caught a glimpse of the charming village of Port of Carton. The village was adorned with small and cute cottages, their gardens bustling with vibrant colors, which executed a quaint and peaceful vibe. Being short of time, I was not able to get off the bus to explore this small village. Another way to reach this village is through a steam train, which runs from Aviemore. and stops right at this spot as i was traveling on a budget i took the bus which cost much less than the train as the bus drove through the countryside the fields of golden grapes with flowers created a vibrant carpet while the tree lined road guided the path with picture perfect beauty i was so lost in this mesmerizing scenery that i missed my stop so asked the driver to drop me just near these horses close to them i found a castle named roy which was towering amongst these green fields its ancient walls whisper tales of centuries past evoking a sense of awe and wonder inside its premises i encountered a charming and handsome highland cow named mudo known as ku in gaelic the arrival of summer brought new life to the fields with adorable little lambs frolicking around in pure delight while graceful horses peacefully grazed amidst the awe inspiring backdrop of majestic mountain inspired by the surroundings I walked through the forest behind these fields and reached the small and quiet village of Nithi Bridge. The iconic Nithi Bridge, built with three arches in the Telford design, lends its name to the village. It spans over the flowing river Nithi around which the charming village is nestled. I didn't find much to do in the village, but the surrounding area offered numerous trails. Feeling tired, I relaxed by the river bank, waiting for the bus to take me back to my hostel. This concludes the part 1 of my Cairn Gorge adventure. Do join me in part 2 where I climb the snow-capped peaks. Till then, keep exploring.